Game Ranks presents the top five most controversial games of 2015. Now listen up, this is not a video of us whining or complaining about these topics, we're just listing them out there for you guys. You're not really getting much opinion or debate here, that's for in the comments. So with that being said, let's get started with number five. The first game on our list is an old game actually released in 2011, Skyrim. <laughs> Yeah, Skyrim actually had some big controversy this year, most notably the PC version on Steam. Everybody loves modding Skyrim and Bethesda games and putting the mods on Steam Workshop, but here's where the screw up happened. Bethesda and Valve kind of fucked up big time by suddenly announcing that they were gonna allow modders to sell their stuff on Steam Workshop. Before this, all this mods and stuff had all been community based and completely free. This caused a big outcry in Skyrim and Fallout and just other Bethesda and modder game communities. People were not happy that suddenly everything was turned into a monetized business and players were worried that this would affect the way mods just generally work. The whole ecosystem, the community, and the fun around it. Now you guys probably know PC players are not ones to keep quiet, and their voices were heard, and Valve and Bethesda ended up actually quickly apologizing and pulling the whole thing down. They realized it was a mistake, and ultimately, PC gamers seem to have won this battle. And at number four, speaking of PC players seemingly getting boned, let's talk about Payday 2. Payday 2 has also been a game that has existed for quite a while, but the real screw up happened in 2015. The game developers at Overkill, who were formerly beloved and totally embraced in their community, ended up adding a ton of microtransactions and pay to win crap after promising that they wouldn't do any of that. Their language and their communication with the community had always been, hey, we're here for you guys, we're making this game for you. And then suddenly it all kind of turned on their heads. Now this can be interpreted in a variety Variety of different ways, you know, businesses have to make money, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, if you look at it, if you're a company and you're embracing a community one way, to suddenly turn tail, people are gonna flip out. And that's unfortunate because Payday 2 had been shrugging quite along and had a pretty great community. It still does, it's just some people are a little burned by what Overkill did. And at number three, oh boy, let's talk about Hatred. Hatred was that game that got a lot of controversy and a lot of talk because the main character was a mass murderer going around and killing a random innocent civilians. I won't sit here and tell you guys one way or the other other if playing this in a video game is right or wrong, because frankly everybody has a different opinion and I don't really care. But we can say that this got a lot of buzz and attention, negative or otherwise, and with people shouting at each other on both sides, ultimately it seemed like the game came out and was kind of just like a wet fart. It turned out the game just wasn't so hot anyway. It was kind of just a crappy game with crappy mechanics that sold because it got attention. And since everyone was talking about hatred so much, that's why it's on our list. And at number two, let's talk about the shit show that was Arkham Knight on PC. Poor Arkham Knight PC version, it was released in a really really, really awful, real bad state, and has since been considered one of the worst PC launches of all time. I'd say 75 to 80% of players could not play this game on their PC at all. The frame rate was a mess, the optimization was a mess, some video cards it just straight up didn't work for, and it was just not a pretty situation to the point where Warner Brothers actually delisted it from Steam and started offering everybody refunds. I do think that this was kind of the right game for this to happen to, a big AAA game that had a lot of eyes on it, because PC players are, there's a lot of them, and they can't really really be treated like second class citizens in gaming anymore. You have to have a good optimized PC version of your game in 2016 now. Hopefully Arkham Knight is the last game to really make that mistake, but time will tell. I kind of look at Arkham Knight like a martyr for PC gaming. And at number one, we have PT and Silent Hills. PT was a playable teaser demo of a very scary little horror game that was released out of nowhere, which culminated in the release of a tease for a new Silent Hill game being called Silent Hills, being developed by Hideo Kojima and famed horror director Guillermo del Toro, also starring Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. Holy shit, right? People were so excited. Finally, Silent Hill gets a return to form by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro, of course, with a famed Japanese art director working on the monsters design. PT was such a crazy awesome good demo that like it was just everything was just so great And then Konami the publisher started pulling their shit with Hideo Kojima And then they removed PT from the PSN store and pretty much shit can the entire Silent Hills project They basically went to the ends of the earth to wipe the traces of PT from this planet And that's really unfortunate because it was a really special little vertical slice of a cool game not to mention the amount of buzz and attention it got. Everybody went nuts for PT and was so hyped for Silent Hills that the big cancellation of it just made it even more famous in the eyes of gamers. Will we ever see PT or Silent Hills again? Who knows? And if it is, it's probably not gonna be what we were expecting. It's a damn shame and all we can really say is hashtag fuck Konami. So guys, those were the top five most controversial games of 2015. 
How do you feel about these things? We're looking forward to the absolute chaos we're gonna see in the comments. If there are other controversial games that we didn't include, definitely be sure, most importantly, to let us know those down in the comments. We wanna hear your thoughts. If you did have a good time today, click the like button because that helps us out. And if you're new, subscribing is good because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.